<laughs> oh. We are going live. And I'm shutting up. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I actually had a funny story, but we're already doing it. Well, that's we're here for funny stories, so. Well, it, it wasn't like, it's not fucking hilarious. So, Blythe, my oldest, has been staying at my mom's because they're out of school. And so for them, like right now, it's one big party. So they've been staying up all night out there. So whatever. But normally, like when me and Blythe play ball in the house, we always get fucking in trouble because we always fucking break something. Always. Mm-hmm. So my one-year-old has got this soccer ball. And like, eight, like eight, you know, those little, what are they, pentagrams or whatever on, on each piece that makes a soccer ball. You push it. And it's like A, B, C, D, one, two, three, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But it's like it's meant to be kind of kicked around. So she brought it to me after we got home. <laughs> and uh, like I start, like I start, you know, doing hacky sack with it. And it's like one, two, three. And she starts fucking giggling. So, <laughs> so I start fucking kicking across the house. And she was running after it and bringing it to me. I'm fucking kicking it. And I said, you know, Briar, this is about the time me and Blythe get in trouble for breaking something. And she was like, yeah, motherfuckers. And so I punt this fucking thing. Oh. <laughs> like, dude, I'm talking, I'm talking two seconds after I said this is normally when we break shit. It flies through the air. It tips the top of the blue moon bottle. I've got about two days worth of spit in. Two spit. Oh. <laughs> it, it flips it. It lands directly on its side on the tile and shatters. <laughs> <laughs> and like I had spit chaws in it. It, uh, it was everywhere. And I thought my wife was going to steam out of her ears. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, I, uh, I, uh, take her. I'll do everything. It's fine. Mm. <laughs> it's totally fine. Uh, that's awesome. See, oh, hey, there's Sam with the. See, it doesn't work. Sh- doesn't majestic work library a i just hate i hate that books. i have zero idea how you guys are doing that <laughs> well you gotta do it on a computer <clears throat> yeah you have to do it on the computer the old tinfoil hat get with the times man i used to think i was pretty hip apparently i'm i'm like an old fuck i'm call me boomer i'm boomer i'm boom power okay boomer <laughs> dang old man old. Yeah. Actually, I was just talking to my buddy. Skin. I was talking to my buddy Blake, and he's uh, he's uh, like he's been redoing his house he bought in Omaha, and he had the best OK Boomer I've ever seen in my life. So he peeled back like 1990s, like really thin green carpet, and underneath mm-hmm. it was 1980 fucking linoleum, and he cut a big square out, and he was like, "Yeah, OK Boomer." <laughs> I, was like, I was like that that may be like the literal best use of okay boomer i've ever seen in my life oh it's awesome yeah covered hardwood awesome. with, I, uh... t- with uh, linoleum and the shitty carpet <laughs> yeah that is a boomer move if there ever was one i know oh guys why do you drink that man i don't i know you like it it's just not good Eh. Well, you know, considering the times that we live in. Um, yeah, I just got the virus from that beer. That's why their sales well, are down 30%. Speaking of virals, this episode is brought to you by Corona oh. Extra. If you're going to die coughing your lungs out, might as well die with a <laughs> Corona Extra in your hand. Don't forget the lime. Don't forget the lime. Should have got lime. El limón es muy importante. And okay. that is Spanish for Sam is much smarter and more handsome than Robbie. <laughs> no <laughs> one's going to believe that. <laughs> so unbelievable. You really know? Oh, man. So you're like, a, you're like a bologna, and I'm like a honey ham. You know? Why are weird, you always eating? Weird reference. <laughs> That was, a, that was a very strange reference. <laughs> very. He realized how weird it was, so he had to divert 
to me eating for some reason. <laughs> no, actually, I wish I was that smart, but no, I still stick with it. Like your 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 pasty skin with like it looks like you have a bowl cut. I, all I could think was was bologna. It's what came well, to mind. I originally made this hat like a pointy paper hat but then i thought well robbie's gonna make a kkk reference so i can't do that <laughs> absolutely <laughs> you got me <laughs> you're the, the grand dragon wizard of the space force <laughs> oh, shit. no i'm just ready to talk conspiracies you know with my awesome tinfoil hat well What's uh, it looks like a, uh, if I could shave around the full, you would have the most beautiful bowl cut I think I ever would see. <laughs> oh, thank you, and I'd wear it with pride. I'd look Man, like would you? Yeah, I'd look would like, you like Ringo. He looks like the guy off of uh, um, god damn it, um, the Confederate flag. Caught. Fuck, what is it? Well, oh, I'm Dukes of Hazard. Dukes of Hazard, yeah, they got Dukes of Hazard. That's got the Almardillo hat. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm if you had a tail, <laughs> yep. If you were in tidy, <laughs> <laughs> are you wearing tidy whities? It's none of your goddamn business. I look, it's the uh, narrative. I, I call them my work from home pants. <laughs> Sheev. His name was Sheev. Was Sheev. I I dressed up as him my sophomore year of college for Halloween. You had the gut for it. I did. It was awesome. <laughs> and all I had to do was put on some boxers and a wife beater, and I fashioned an armadillo hat. That was, oh, that's see, all I had to do. You needed tidy whities to bring it home. Did you use an actual armadillo? I could not find a, a live armadillo or a dead <laughs> armadillo in Fort Collins, Fort Collins. Colorado. <laughs> little, Weird. little far north. It just sounds like you weren't trying hard enough, but whatever. What do I know? Uh, well, you may, you may have a point there. <laughs> he's, he's kind of a lazy piece of shit. Yeah. I don't, know. I don't know what to tell you. Your also, words. I mean, Google was not that big of a thing back then. No. Wait, hold was on. It? Google wasn't a thing back. Google's been a thing since like. Uh, 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 uh. Google wasn't that big of a thing, is what I said. Don't fuck with me, Sam. I said that big of a thing. <laughs> I'm just wondering if you're trying to make Matt sound old or if you're just ignorant. Probably a little both. A <laughs> little bit of both. This is a little bit. <laughs> I'm oh, shitting on go. everybody here. <laughs> I'm not exempt. Everybody's getting it. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I'm going to grab a beer. Let's, uh, let's hear what these uh, conspiracy theories are. I am, I'm out of the Corona. I've, got to get restocked on the coronavirus but we got you had some one corona i've had two who the fuck has two you didn't buy a six pack i bought a 12 pack they come in two packs no <laughs> but it's still cold enough to leave them outside on the porch and, and uh, they're still perfect drinking so well don't trip over any books in your library oh i'll try not to there are many many leather bound books you can smell the rich mahogany from there. I'm sure. You're I'm so very stupid. important. Um, Have you read so them all? Not one. Not a single one. I'm not sure you, if there's pages in them at all. They came uh, with the mansions. Yeah. So dumb. Dumb as human alive. Yeah. It, it, just, it only cost me a couple, couple extra mil. You know, a couple cool mil. Yeah, I wish I could stab you though. in the face with a soldering it, iron. It adds to the ambiance. Just ice pick. <laughs> to <the> eyeball. <laughs> Made me feel a lot better about my life. Is that a manufactured home mat? Whoa. Okay. Hire your horse. What's wrong with manufactured homes over here? <laughs> Some of us aren't connected to the clan. We don't get free money. That was too easy. <laughs> I know. I know. It was like a lay. I, I couldn't don't, help it. Don't pet the I, troll, Robbie. Don't pet the troll. I, I, <laughs> could help myself it was right there i just went with it i feel bad about it now <clears throat> not really but like i should probably <laughs> and i'm back to this live stream brought to you by corona extra who but it's is not not paying for this in any way fit shape or form but if but they would be if they would like to i will advertise the fuck out of it and if they would like to i will never say this again that your beer sucks because it's skunky so fuck you 
Uh, one of the one I'm of the cons- willing to completely denounce Robbie though if they endorse it. Okay. Well, one of the well, popular I mean, conspiracy theories is that should. Corona uh, Brewing Company. Uh, what is their service serviceria? Cerveceria Modelo imported by Crown Imports. So one of the popular conspiracy theories is that Crown Imports created the coronavirus so that this pandemic, while they knew it probably wasn't going to be that bad, but it was going to be serious, it would raise their brand profile as if they needed more brand profile. And then Corona sales went down 30%. That was a myth. The CEO came out and said they were actually up five percent. Ah. The C the CEO here's a conspiracy theory. The CEO would say that to drive investors. Boom. True. So did Corona give you the coronavirus? I don't yes. know. No. But I will tell you who did not. Hundred percent did not give you coronavirus. Here we go. Ad read. Loma livestock. <clears throat> Owned and operated by my good buddy, George Raftopoulos, there in Loma, Colorado, located at 1369 12 and a half road. Uh, they got a sale going every Wednesday with cows and singles starting at nine o'clock, followed by the feeders at 11. If you'd like to consign or you got any questions, give them a holler, 970-858-9988, or check them out online at lomalivestock.com. Thanks, George. Thanks, Loma Livestock. Uh, they definitely did not give anybody coronavirus. And I, I talked to George, and uh, the cattle have no corona, but George sure fucking does. Uh, he does. Um, he may have had some uh, some viruses, some bacteria over the years, but definitely not co- not COVID-19. He did not give anyone COVID-19. Just the clap. Oh. it was there it was there Uh, (laughs) alley-oop i'll have to clip that and send it to him like it's on it's on the internet it's out there the thing now it is there dozens of people will hear hear that (laughs) yeah literally 12 12 people (laughs) Ah, we'll be lucky if we get that. There is nobody. Well, at this point, I don't fucking blame them. <laughs> All right. Yeah. What's the deal? Everybody's supposed to be quarantined at home. Not This is a great stuff. time for this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Government uh, mandated. You listen to Ben Daylight. Stupid shit. So here, here's, a, here's a news nugget. That's what Tucker Carlson calls him. Or whoever. One of those guys. News nuggets. What's his face? Yeah, on Fox News. The, um, What's his face? Fellow. They all have the same hair. Have no, the African-American guy. He ran for president at one point. Oh, um, oh what's his name? Hell, Barack what is Obama? His? No, no, not on Fox News. <laughs> uh, was he the guy that owned the pizza, the chain of pizza restaurants? Oh, God. Herman Cain? Herman Cain, yeah. Oh, totally, yeah. Totally Herman Cain. He always uh, rolls into his show and he goes, News Nugget! And then he tells uh, you a piece oh, yeah, of news. He and then he'll be like, News Nugget! <laughs> I love that. Um, well, here's a news nugget for you. I went to two different supermarkets today. And they were, in, they were entirely different in areas of things they didn't have. So Walmart <clears throat> had zero canned goods. Zero, and obviously like Charmin and paper towel, yeah. shit like that. But uh, zero, zero canned goods. And uh, but the beer aisle fully stocked. Fully like, nice. Not even a, you know, I think I made the first dent in them today. Um, and by the way, that's my first stop at Walmart. Yeah. 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 It's all the way to the back. That's why they put it there. So you go back, you, load there, it. you go all yeah. the way back, and then you have to come back through all that stuff. All that Naturally. Um, they put the milk and the beer all the way in the back, every store. Um, mm-hmm. <clears throat> so then, I go to the meat aisle, looking at red meat, no <laughs> meat, no meat, nothing there. I mean, there's, you know, like shitty cuts and whatever. And um, the bakery, uh, fully stocked. Right. So later on, I went to Albertsons huh. to kind of balance out the load, get some things I couldn't find. Tons of canned goods. Zero hot dog bun, zero anything in the bread aisle. Nothing. Except huh. like English muffins. And nobody likes those. 
Um, and Excuse you. Tons of I, I get down on the English muffin. English muffins are delicious, Sam. You can go to hell, and you could die there. <laughs> okay, well. Slap a sausage patty on there. Or like, like, maybe just... a little, some of Sam's Canadian bacon. Bam, mm. English muffin. Egg McMuffin, son. Hey, that don't fast. Act, don't act like I just dissed a knight's tail, all right? <laughs> got got a little heat on that one <laughs> yeah you did <laughs> that was that was actually really fun listening back to you just get your ass tore up oh man god i said Tucker. i want to just i want to clip that <clears throat> so well i guess to round out my story before we get completely off track the the one thing that was consistent through both stores is there was no tp no nothing uh, no cleaning no, supplies, no. and there was tons of beer, just tons of it, like See, more so than they need. I walk into that store, and I'm thinking, yeah, they got everything I need. What's the problem? <laughs> hey, <laughs> beer aisle's full. Actually, you know what's funny? I was telling Matt earlier today. So yesterday, my wife, my wife's like, she filled up her shopping cart online from Walmart in store pickup, and uh, and the next day, today, it was completely fucking sold out everything and i thought well i mean yeah you probably just got the essentials right no dude look at this fucking list this is what was sold out in a day well there was a rumor going everything around. <clears throat> there is a rumor going around that's based on nothing that says that trump's going to instill mandatory quarantine tomorrow Motherfucking oh. try. And that's it's based on nothing but everybody's my buddy who lives in kansas or my boss actually who lives in kansas is saying he was like crap now i gotta go to the store because everybody's buying everything i don't want to go to the store but i don't want to be the only one without anything <laughs> uh, people are stupid yeah lemmings well, where's you know, your boss have, where's your boss live uh manhattan <clears throat> oh okay yeah so let's say he does implement this mandatory quarantine well let's say he does and let's say tomorrow i'm sitting on the edge of my property with every weapon i have fully loaded going what are you gonna do you're not gonna be what the are only you one gonna do because i went to the sporting goods store too and they were damn near sold out of ammo well yeah. uh, i've had discussions <clears throat> with guys today about that too and they were like yeah so i like i've got a guy uh, i follow on um, instagram and it's got mm-hmm. he, he lives in denver but he's a mexican guy that's like very conservative conservative and the page is called guns for everyone he gives away a gun every uh month and he was like online showing you what he pays for glocks and he was like i'm all for the free market but do not let motherfuckers rip you off that's literally what he said 530 dollars is full msrp on this glock glock 17 he goes don't let fuckers rip you off yeah because i because i was gonna go buy a gun the other day just because I wanted, I sold all my ARs. I had a few. I sold them all. I thought, well, no, maybe I went down maybe a boating I'll... accident. It's the weirdest thing. Yeah. Well, was... yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Right. Well, boating we were accidents there. are terrible. Yeah, they're rampant. We, yeah, I mean, we were both on the lake in the house. You want to talk and... about a pandemic? Let, I mean, let's talk about the boating gun loss yeah. epidemic. I mean, it that, it is. Yeah. <clears throat> When, that when, is when, nation- when was that, Sam? Was that uh, la- when were were you on that boat? Oh, it was that last it's- summer, just on court, Lake Coeur d'Alene? I mean, like, yeah, I yeah. Guns in my boat, and they all went down. It, it's yeah, bad. And I was vi- I was visiting. And, yeah, uh, and yours it's went down bad. Too. Fucking all and uh, as a once as a wise prophet once said, <clears throat> it's right, bad. All right, all right, Pete. I'm not actually going to. It's nationwide. <laughs> Well, just make sure it's not up. the dip spit bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man, uh, that could not have been more perfect. She did not see the humor in it. I was like, but I just, I just <laughs> talked about it. You know, you get it. It's funny. I get it. Yeah. Coincidentally. She wasn't humor. laughing. Uh, oh, God. There's oh, a there, there, someone. There's Tuck. Yeah, it's taking me a long time to figure out how to work the computer again. What All right, we're going to Hey, tell my kid to shut the fuck up. I can figure out this fucking deal. How do you even work this? Swipe. Swipe. I'm not on my phone. I'm on a laptop. Oh, so uh, there should be an option that says gallery view. It should be on your upper right-hand corner. Upper right, yeah. 
Yeah. I'm not seeing anything. Well, uh, Sam, this is uh, one of my many brothers. <laughs> hey, Tucker. Nice to meet you. McKinley's are a fertile fertile bunch. We fuck a lot. Oh, there we go. What else is there to do in Kansas? And he's gone. And he's out. (laughs) Oh, that's all it took? Man. That's actually, I I think you've seen Shallow jump on here. That's Shallow's twin brother. Oh, okay. So, not even close to being the same human. It's weird. Yeah, it's, they're they're twins. Look nothing alike. And, act nothing and, alike. And actually, the doctor told us they're identical. All right, I got it. Oh, really? Yeah. And then yeah, one came out wait. with blonde hair, and one came out with brown hair. That's just good genetics. Right yeah. there. You guys see me? Because I can't see. If no, I no. You have to turn. No, but you know what? On. <clears throat> I kind of prefer it this way. There we go. <laughs> I'm on now, huh? As long as your screen's blank, like I, I feel better about my life because I don't have to look at you. Well, yeah, it's like that's a great. Yeah, leave it there. That's fine. It turned off again. Yeah, I know. It's awesome. Oh damn it! There you go. <laughs> is back. I am not computer savvy. Apparently, it runs the family. Start stop button a lot. I was just going back and forth on that. Look, Matt's got a fake fucking library as his background. Sam Look, knows how to share his screen to our I've screen. I've got many leather-bound books. Guess who my background is? Oh, oh Jesus gross. Christ. Who brought Andrew? Gross. He, your mom. Old fucking super trucker called me about 20 minutes ago and said he wanted to have a beer. So. Oh, God. Hauling them fat cattle, huh? Is he, yeah, is he not- a boo holler? He's a boo holler. Pays the bills, don't it? Hey, you got to call him driver. driver. Hey, driver. Yeah, hey, driver. Driver. Yeah, driver. driver Drew. <laughs> yeah. oh, the old boy. double D, Driver Drew. And now, uh, bring back now. What do you say, boy? <laughs> now that fucking coronavirus even has the truck driver shut down. Oh. 2,000 got- miles this week. They got the corona. Everybody's got the corona. I corona. How, how does Andrew not quit that job yet? How does he not drink every day? I do drink every day. You said you slept for fucking two hours like two weeks ago. I still drink. Don't ask questions. Uh, this is going on the interweb. Maybe not say that <laughs> at all. <laughs> not the right place. <laughs> Dumbass. Yeah, I just you Headgear. Hey, as a truck driver, I gotta ask you, have you ever um wait, hold on, I'm gonna pull this up. Sam Sam has his tin foil hat on because we're talking conspiracies. Well, yeah. Naturally. Oh. Okay. Oh, so, well, you're doing that thing again. As a truck, have you ever done this? Done what? Are you can you see my screen? You see the video? Wait for I gotcha. It. Wait for it. Whoa! Smoked. Damn. Damn. Andrew's Damn. not that quick. He'd be yeah. dead. Yeah, we didn't see that. That guy was drinking. You guys didn't see that? No, my entire screen went black for some reason. Because Sam knows voodoo. He shares screens and shit. Yeah, I don't know. He just shared a video of a guy, a trucker on a, a track that like jumped out of the truck as a train smoked him. Oh, shit. I'm a bit more skilled than that. I would have made it. <laughs> Just no, fucking was, sit and it. No, this guy was like, stopped. The gates had like closed down on the top of his. Oh, man. Just put the fucking pedal to the wood and just let it eat. <laughs> you okay, driver? <laughs> they still got wooden floorboards. Poor <laughs> driver. Is that, like the, is that like okay, boomer? Okay, driver. No. Truckers think they're cool and they call each other driver. Oh, got it. What What's your handle? Is it Is it like Smokey or uh, or Faggot or, or uh, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> he slipped that in there so suddenly. <laughs> uh, 
Matt, I don't know why you're not better at stand-up comedy. You make me laugh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> because we're retarded. We laugh at dick jokes. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Make a note of that. Yeah, write that one down. <laughs> me, and Matt were, me and Matt were talking about uh, oh, how we were like, our likes and stuff was going and I was and we were laughing. I was like, like we're smart. Like at the base, we're smart, but we laugh at dick jokes. Like, why does anybody follow this stupid <laughs> shit? <laughs> oh. I don't know. It is pretty good entertainment at times, so I uh like listening back to some of the like the, especially these bull session type deals. Like I'll, well, that's like uh, smelling I'll your back. own fart just because you like it doesn't mean everybody else does. <laughs> that's I what I'd say. <laughs> yeah, I listen you know, back and I like I laugh I'm like, but why would anybody in the right mind <laughs> fucking laugh? Like this is stupid shit. Well, I always know, like, if it goes past like an hour twenty, um, there's a there's I don't really remember a lot of what was talked about. I just remember that we laughed a bunch, so I'm just like, ooh, this could be incredibly dumb, or it could be really funny. It's usually pretty damn funny. So, if it goes past an hour twenty, chances are the back half is politics. Yeah, I was one of them yeah. about two hours in one time, and it was. It was all over the place, but it was pretty funny. <laughs> it was definitely yeah, all over the place. Yeah, uh, I everywhere. can guarantee it was all over the place. <laughs> you think if I put this over the hat, it'll still block the conspiracy waves? Nope. Okay. Right through the dome. That's better. That's better. It's not like grounding in or something. God damn, Andrew, you look like fucking I don't know Forrest if we can Gump. give Texas Roy a free plug. That's the thing. No He's not free in ads. business anymore. No he, free ads. No. All free he did ads. was make a bunch of hats, and then uh, people ask me all the time. They're like, "What is Texas Roy?" And I just make shit up. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, he's a small, he's a small uh, nonprofit that sponsors out of work uh, team ropers." <laughs> he, he's a small arms dealer. It's not a big yeah. thing. He, he's running for county commissioner as we speak. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. every vote See, counts county people. commissioner <laughs> <laughs> i still so, want to go back to what i just said andrew looks like forrest gump at the end of his fucking run easily absolutely i mean if i forrest think i'll gump go really, home now and but instead of running he, he just let himself go and <laughs> eat Cheetos and drink Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> and, and hauled fat and hauled fat cows. Yeah. He's a, a different boo kind of holler. Man. <laughs> uh, just hauling them cutter bulls out of Alabama. <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> oh, but really he just went to the Moines yesterday. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. Last night about 9 30, 10 o'clock and unloaded them in on Dodge City and uh, nope. Was- Hard pass. Oh, it's because you're a damn little puss. No, I don't like I don't like doing methamphetamines every day, Andrew. I know you're okay with it, but that's not my thing. That coronavirus, Robbie has to stay home from work now. Hey, and not every cow yeah. is on okay. Just most of them. Just you. <laughs> just you. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, no, not just, just uh, in case there's a cop just watching, the vast yeah, just the good ones are on methamphetamine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we got any cops to watch. We've got a game warden that uh, that listens every now and then, but uh, that's about it. But she's a Nevada game warden, so yeah, uh, right, we've we'll got no jurisdiction. Then. Well, I hope that game wardens are quarantined too, because I'm going fishing this weekend. Yeah, and if my yeah. freezer gets any uh, any more empty, I'm going. Um, I mean, I'm gonna go, I'm going poaching this weekend. I'm just gonna go poaching. <laughs> so what's what's the quarantine status up in Idaho? As I don't know, it's kind of business as you. It's weird because we're where I'm at. There's no cases reported, but down south, southern Idaho, like Boise in that area, there's ten. So, um, but like we're right next to Spokane, and that Spokane's got a ton of cases. So yeah, well, I see mean, here. <sighs> Like, let, let me tell it, spell out this doomsday scenario that we've got playing out here in Nevada. I mean, it's it's a real doozy. We've got 
as last time I looked, 69 cases. Nice. Um, one death. It was like a 65 year old dude with yeah. uh, oh. with uh, severe underlying medical conditions. Uh, but they chalk it up to the coronavirus. Just he it. was dying. He was dying of cancer. Yeah, but yeah. the corona took him. Let's say it. Yeah, <laughs> his kidneys uh, were shutting down. <laughs> and so that's one guy. Uh, and then something like seventy percent of all the cases are down in the Vegas region. Region. Uh, but we Jesus. we shut down the entire fucking state basically. Like the strip yeah. is dark. The Las Vegas Strip is dark. That's what uh, that's what Washington did too. Everything. Yeah, and yeah, so like uh, all non-essential businesses are uh, are mandated closed. Like I I can't imagine how many um, bars and restaurants are just going to go under from this deal. Well, I think I think they're is some legislation going through that's going to prevent people like in washington i don't know if this applies to bars i'm assuming it does but they they're not for the foreseeable few months <coughs> not allowed to evict anyone due to financial reasons <coughs> yeah i think that's uh <coughs> they did something like that here um and now like you remember remember andrew yang i mean it hadn't been very long but Oh yeah, he's, he was, he's super pumped about this thousand dollar person. <laughs> yeah, it was that, whole that deal was, was my thing. Yeah, <laughs> and now, except the Republicans are like, "Hey, we got to make it better, though. We're going to give you twelve hundred dollars a month." <laughs> hey, yeah, that could buy me a new AR. I, I mean, did, I told told my wife before, our, like when right when we sat down for dinner, I was like, if this thing passes through. And we're getting government checks. We are buying gold, guns, and ammunition. Yeah, everything they don't want us to buy with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That won't even get you an ounce of gold these days, I don't think. No, but it'll uh anyhow, if it's if they're gonna keep coming, that's what I'm buying. Is guns, gold, and ammunition. Oh uh I'm gonna so like this guy I follow on Snapchat that raffles off guns for people. The one he had was a, a 45 1911, and it was a, a Trump gun. It literally had, like, Trump down the side of it. I think that's what I'd go buy. I wouldn't want his name on my gun. You never I know, know what but, he's going to do in the next four years. Well, I know, but it pissed people off. Oh, I, I'm all for that. But I'm just saying in the next four years, he might piss me off, too. Well, he's kind of uh, pissed he's, me off in the last 30 a, days. The last say, 30 he's days, he's pissed lot. me off. Uh, yeah. I think, I think Facebook orchestrated this whole thing. They're getting the most airtime out of it. Yeah. Well, it, it's like they Netflix. say, you know, people getting pissed off is what drives fucking content. So <laughs> why wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's true. But in a time like this, you wouldn't believe how well positive content shines through. Like when everything's negative. And people are feeling negative. And you post some positive content and it shines through pretty damn well. Well, on a positive note, Here um, we, go. we will not have to worry about uh, the coronavirus epidemic for very much longer. I don't think, I think it's going to play out real quick. Uh, but due to the quarantine, the next epidemic is going to be even more obesity. <laughs> i know <laughs> i know <laughs> when you've got a bunch of fat fucks that can't go to work so then they just pull up at home <laughs> and they're and like, get even fatter <laughs> at the stores today like the produce section was so well stocked in both stores <laughs> you know <laughs> like just there was just so much little debbies which will last forever yeah uh, are sold out and they'll be gone by wednesday <laughs> all i've been thinking about is that uh what is that was that uh with woody harrelson that zombie show uh oh, zombie he's worried land. About, zombie land where he's worried about the fucking the, the twinkies the twinkies that was, yeah that's a show man don't 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 even talk shit oh it's a great uh, show no, all zombie could, land's a great show all i can think about is like going like making a, a quick little snap going into the fucking, fucking grocery snowball. store just just <laughs> like 
I got, uh, I got your twinks. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a little biased because I think Bill Murray might be the most inter- interesting man alive. But that has got to be the greatest cameo of all time is Bill Murray so just getting shot in the face. <laughs> oh, you shot <laughs> me. And then the, that little Gen Z twat going, who's Bill Murray? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Can I say that? Uh, Am I, I, I think so. Twat's a good word. I don't, I don't say, I say not. I say cut a lot, so I, I'm pretty sure twat's probably allowed. You do say cut probably. I do. It's a good word. I really like it. It just really rolls off the tongue. <laughs> it does. It just, just comes off smooth. So nice. I, think, so I, think, I think I told my wife tonight, stop being a cunt. Ooh, that's a bold move. Bold strategy, Actually, Cotton. Yeah, no, I, it's, I don't know. It's our I'd back and that. forth. Yeah, but yeah. See, you guys said, see, so she called me a bitch because I was like whining about something. So I was like, well, don't you don't be a cunt about it. I can be a bitch if I want. Two separate things, man. No, cunt and bitch, same thing. No. Okay, Rabbit, live your life. <laughs> yeah, they are. You go live your right. life. I think the rest you, of America knows better. <laughs> you, yeah, you know why? Because Sam McHugh and the rest of America have gotten so goddamn soft that words hurt their feelings and they can't say yeah. them because they're hurtful. Okay, so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna interject as the as the resident autistic libertarian. So at, if we're going by a definition, yes, they they're basically the same. They mean some sort of evil woman. The degree of severity is a whole different deal. Yeah, there's you can call anybody a bitch, probably get away with it. Uh, yeah. Let me put it in this term. So you can call somebody an African American. Sam, if you bring and that means the same your, thing as if you were KKK calling them. Shit. Hey, Dave, Dave I am Duke, not... let's let's settle down. Yeah. <laughs> Take your KKK right. shit back to the house. That's not my what we're point, talking about my here. My point is that there are more severe things that you cannot say <laughs> in the same yeah. thing. Look, it's your dad. So she don't give a Robbie fuck. Robbie Blythe said, "Fuck you." She, you're not her dad. Well, she's kind of a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have I told you about my sponsor? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help myself. That was so good for the fucking premise. I feel bad about it now. You're right. The word's a bad word. <laughs> oh, that played out really well, though. Well, well done, boys. Well this done. Nice. We should do this more often. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're gonna get a nice big thank you card from Robert <laughs> for, the, for all the evidence in the divorce proceedings. <laughs> no, because she doesn't want that kind of debt. She needs. <laughs> That's the beauty. Of Robbie has to share the debt. The <laughs> all right, so what's uh? We'll go around the group here. We'll start with Sam, and then go to. the uh, we'll go uh, counterclockwise, I guess. So Sam, Robbie, Tuck, what's your uh, what's your go to conspiracy theory on this coronavirus deal? Facebook orchestrated it all. Whoa, that's deep. Okay. My favorite, Let's my favorite one expand. so far, because Facebook is just exploding with traffic and and obviously ad revenue, mm-hmm. and I just actually. I just posted a meme of the Burning Daylight page while Robbie was saying something because I usually tune him out. Um, and as I was posting <laughs> to the page, uh, I was on the, the Facebook with the app and there was a little thing that came up and it says ad revenue or ad reviews may be delayed due to... Oh, I saw that. Uh, yeah. And I'm thinking like, it's not because, well, I don't think it's because of office closures because half those guys down in California work from home. I think it's because they're just getting so many ads submissions right now oh like, yeah like everybody's on facebook right now well because they said there's like seven hundred and fifty thousand podcasts and every one of them including myself is going to be running ads here in the next week because there's going to be a lot of people at home and you know what i i may go live from my horse uh at some point oh you uh, should. because why the fuck not i'm i'm uh, i'm working on that but uh, yeah, that's why not. If you're I, at home, 
looking for something to, uh, to laugh at, we'll be live. Another conspiracy that I'm, well, and I don't want to take anybody's thunder, but this um, whole thing that the, between Trump and China, where China's, you know, using propaganda to say that the Americans created the virus, which, you know. All right. That, that yeah. was glorious. Yeah. That, like, that okay, was we're... good propaganda there. <laughs> You're that right. was like, we infected that the was... bat and knew that this guy was going to make bat soup. <laughs> yeah. That's some, I'm sorry like, you guys have nothing shit. better to eat. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Who eats fucking bat? There's no meat. But it's all leather. The conspiracy, and I mean that's propaganda. Yeah, make the some shoes out of that. Lying thing. in there is that the Chinese are creating this narrative as a justification to push all foreign journalists out of the country, so that we can't monitor their what's going on, like the the Hong Kong revolutions, and also like there are internment that's camps a, yeah. on the border of China. like they yeah. have people interned right now and nobody talks about yeah that. it's what are they they're the muslim population what yeah. are they called like the the Uyghurs or something like that mm-hmm. well that no, was you that was that one of really my different. that was one of my conspiracy theories it's funny how when uh what was it uh the british gave uh after the was it 10 years they gave back hong kong to china mm-hmm. how yeah at the time so as soon as communism fucking swept up hong kong they're in the fucking streets waving the American flag, revolting, saying, fuck this. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, this uh-huh. weird little virus comes through and you stop seeing anything <clears throat> about the protesters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Real weird, right? Yeah. That's what I mm-hmm. thought since the very beginning is, is all to get the protesters off the streets. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I think it, it, it started... sure as fuck did. Working it sure well. as fuck did. And I think the the media here just piggybacked on that because i as i've been saying since basically since i started this podcast so not very long but i've said it a bunch that trump was a shoe in barring a natural disaster or an economic downturn now we have both so which which brings me to my next conspiracy is that the democrats although they did not create the virus because it's these viruses come and go every fucking year. We deal with it every mm. fucking year, and we can give it a name or not. It's a it's a respiratory virus. We have Our them every fucking year. Yeah. But yep. they got desperate, and what are they going to do? Because they've got no candidate, right? So Joe uh, Biden. Go. Oh Jesus Christ! He's Sleepy Joe. Right. He all right. So he's going to stroke out, uh, or he's going to actually follow through with one of his uh some or somebody's gonna call him on on let's go outside and, and have us have us a little throwdown and he's yeah. gonna get his I wish I wish I would have been there at that moment. Because yeah. I would have said oh okay sleepy Joe let's go Uncle Joe well at some point right the now. secret service has got to be like you know what this uh, one's on him. Yeah. yeah he brought this on himself and, or he's gonna choke on his dentures. <laughs> One of the things is gonna happen. Yeah, Man, very. He, he could sniff unless he picks, too hard. <laughs> yeah, Stuck right back. Yeah, just <laughs> done. Joe and out. By the, for the record, they are way too white. Come on, he drinks way yeah. too much coffee. And oh, yeah. they're white and Where's they're the big. Nurse? And uh, like the the Hold makeup on. that they're using on that guy nowadays. Holy shit. Oh God! Back away from the camera. <laughs> That's what he looks like. like. If these were straight and white, slanted eyes. That's so <laughs> and and he's Are, like, "Let me tell you something, Jack." <laughs> yeah. Hey, everything is gonna be free for everybody. Uh, Come on, my aunt, man. My aunt, my aunt died last week, but everybody's getting free shit. <laughs> Joe Biden. <laughs> what is this? That's uh. That's wildly close to the michael scott impression of ping <laughs> <laughs> i do what i can uh you're welcome you should stop what are you drinking there buddy just some canadian whiskey you fucking canadian fuck what buddy oh me yeah gin tonic of course gin oh uh, <laughs> What you do by the for, uh, Pat? <laughs> oh man! Also brought to you by <laughs> no, no. Nope. What's with all the free ads? Jesus! I'm also going. 
I'm also going camping tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not. This is camp whiskey. <laughs> Well, I don't nice. see any Jim Beam, so I don't think you're actually going camping. Uh, yeah, I hate to break it to you, but we went over this last time, Jim Beam shit. <laughs> yeah, that's why I brought it back up, because yeah. I'm still against that. That's bullshit. I like Jim Beam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not I think lie. we all here like, like Jim Beam. I mean, like, if Jim Beam didn't call itself bourbon, I'd be all right with it. But it puts itself up there as bourbon, and I'm like, hmm. It's no, not see, that's the beauty of bourbon. bourbon. You know what you're getting by the by the price. Like, there's no there's no markup on the yep. shitty bourbon. There's okay. like, hey, this stuff is not aged very well. Yeah, that's why we're only charging you ten dollars a handle. Yeah. I mean, if like, I hey, owned a liquor store, I'd put it right down next to Yukon Jack. Okay, but like, if you're oh, yeah. going to, if you decide to mix whiskey, <laughs> are you going to mix it with your fucking top shelf shit? No, you're gonna get a Jim Beam. You lost me. Mixed whiskey. I kn- you know what? I thought about that question earlier, and I knew that's what you were gonna fucking say. You're so predictable. We're just like we just like have ESPN or something. I know, bro. Nah. Like we're right here. Yes, we're right here. We're right here. We're right here. <laughs> <laughs> I knew. I uh, I told myself not to say it because I knew that's what you're gonna say. But I'm just saying that's a great thing to mix with Coke. That, you know what that's that means? good with ginger ale too. You know what it means if you have to mix it with coke? Oh, here we go. Good night. Means yeah, yeah yes. Good. Yes. Means to an end. Shitty whiskey. Sometimes I, it's nice to have a little gin and coke. Okay. I'm not gonna deny that. That's great. That would take the taste of gym out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Sam knows You're so a lot about to taking it. the taste of Jim out of his mouth. <laughs> I know a lot about it. Let me tell you what. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you what. That was the first layup I decided to not take. And of course, Matt takes it. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's giving me two. I thought I'll, I'll, the iron's hot. <laughs> I'll give him this one. I'm not going to. No, but no, Matt just charged right down that lane. <laughs> <laughs> Loving the play by play, Robbie. <laughs> hey oh no. Yahtzee po- Pointing out all the opportunities you didn't take That's what I do Did you say point note point I think note? he said yeah. point note well, Point note <laughs> yeah. hey. He's been too far north for too long Well fuck he's from Montana boy anyway That's how he talks isn't it Nah not oh, really Oh don't you know Don't you know Don't you know, East don't of- you know. East of used to, used to been, used to been North Dakota, but yeah. But it's funny, like I have one of those. Well, the way I talk, I'm I, I'm impressionable. So if I'm around people that are talking, like my my wife's family, they're all from North Dakota, or most of them, and they have thick accents. And when I'm around them for a week, boy, do I sound like I was from Minot. <laughs> but you know then you i go hang out with my family and they're all you know and i'm boy do i sound like i was raised in a fucking barn so yeah that's and that's, then i hang that's out me. if i go travel for business i'm very proper like a newscaster yeah that is me ron burgundy stay classy yeah andrew's over here talking about fucking accents yeah that hey, i'm not <laughs> judging no, and that motherfucker, I call him Ken Cockright. He speaks in cursive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use that. Has anybody I'm told Thaddeus go. that? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Thaddeus. <Andrew> nothing. <laughs> See, Thaddeus speaks in a... Uh, like if you were to transcribe his uh, his speech, it would be, be a scribble. roughly X-rated. Yeah, well, it'd be somebody that's trying to take notes as you're plowing across a uh, a CRP field at seventy mile an hour after a coyote. 
I fucking love when Thaddeus updates us on his life via Snapchat because uh, it's so to fucking great. <laughs> hey, uh, Dagum, I might, I might, hey, hi. So, Dagum, this old year no hair came over there. And, man, I took two fucking loose and I got him one hawk and fuck around the way. Hey, yeah, boy. Mm-hmm. I honestly wish he, wish he would have joined us tonight because I wanted to hear more about his, uh, his experience in riding cut horses. So. Cutting oh, horses. yeah. That was pretty good. That was funny. With, because, so when he, we got this snap, nuts he, he was like, hey, uh, daggum, like, I ain't want to be no pussy and all, but mm, and my, my fucking groin, my groin, it hurt bad, man. And I'm thinking, like, <laughs> was that on a cult? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? And then well, he's like, no, I, th- I thought he was, I was, like, getting geared up because I thought he was going into one of his sex stories because he's going to do that from now <laughs> he on. Does. Well, but not since every he got now and then. I up. was like, oh, this is going to be a good one. I was getting ready to make some popcorn. Yeah. And then he talks about <laughs> riding a cutting horse. And he's like, and then I like, get down. Well, I, and it's like, I had forgot. Then, ah. I had forgot that he had told us <laughs> he was uh, working with that cutting horse trainer. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking in my head, well, he was in a ranch rodeo and he got a hold of a fucking rank one or something. And then when he got down and he said, you know, it was one leg, two leg, and he got real catty. And I'm like, oh, fuck. He was at that goddamn cutting horse fucking trainer. <laughs> That's yeah. going to hit me. <laughs> and I think I, I just said, I was like, yeah, they'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had nothing. Because that whole story, of this is going to be great. And then it turns uh, out, oh, he, he was riding cutting horses. They're like like badgers. They just dive. One leg, two leg, and then and then you know he got damn real candy like. <laughs> well, he well he is he does sound like Boomer. Right? He's like but he says damn like oh, he's damn. Like, of, like, he's not nearly damn. Quick he does not damn. Speak enough. <laughs> no, no, like. Instead he's of like, saying those like man, and I was fucking mad. He's like, and, and you know, I, I, I was, damn man, I was just, I, I was damn mad, and, and you know, and, <laughs> and they, they, you know, I was just, I damn the whole thing. <laughs> God, we're just roasting him. I love it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and damn, and the, my favorite part was, damn man, like, hey, you know, I don't want to be no pussy or nothing. But God, my goddamn gun is hurting. <laughs> I know, and I like he he said that I was like, oh, what what happened now? Because like he's always talking about, you know. He, well, course, I don't know. Since he's since yeah, he's he used to about he, that one gal. He's yeah. uh, he's like he used to be locked that thing down. Um, but you know, like talk. he when we met him, he was in the early stages uh, of a deer, divorce. deer penthouse forum. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and then then he got divorced. But like prior to signing the papers, there was there was some shit that went on that we had to I actually had to bleep out some stuff on the podcast. <laughs> Only time ever I've had to bleep out stuff yeah. on a podcast. That is rare. <laughs> Talking about his, his sex life. I dad go, man, this old gal, this old gal had me with my leg over here, her leg over, here, and that gum, it was it was pretty exciting. So are yeah, we still, and are we, uh are we still gonna give him I, a I couldn't cut it now? out because oh <laughs> uh, i i couldn't cut it out i i just had to bleep over it because it, it was still it still played it, it was funny yeah but uh, like and, and post, yeah then post, he post divorce sad was a uh, fucking hilarious sad no oh, it was a good time that's that's when we almost got him to uh to drive to louisiana to meet <laughs> yeah. like that almost happened how's she doing <laughs> We don't want to know. I, I don't know. Um, I, I know the last, Daylight. last, <laughs> oh, last post that, that I saw from her was uh, her man was just about to get out of prison. And that's downwritten. <laughs> it's she downwritten. Was pretty, she was pretty stoked about that. So good, good for Jamie Jo. Are you guys still friends on Facebook? No, I blocked her. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's why I can't she, message her. Mind, she like, was uh, <laughs> she was character. messaging multiple times a day. Uh, oh. it was it was getting weird. Hey, you know what though? 
old fucking uh, Forrest Gump over there, he travels all over. Maybe he needs to go down to Louisiana and marry that old fucking meth head. Uh, you oh. know, she's got a nice body. She, she does. does have a good... She did send some... She works at a MMA gym. Yeah. Oh, I mean, she's a little little leathery in the facial region, but everything else uh, is pretty shit. And, and, Andrew likes some crazy bitches, you know. Uh, she she sent me a couple pictures because she got really mad at Ro. So yeah, she send sent me a some, She sent me some pictures to, uh, showing how much better she was than Ro. Yeah, send and, them to Tucker. Um, so Andrew, if we can get Andrew hooked up, man, I'll go in on a mic. We can have they, they can meet up. It'll be like a we can you can send a your GoPro. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm down full. Here's the deal, Andrew. Um, her her man is kind of a convicted <laughs> felon for murdering. He does kill people. You might die. A legend. I'm and a Muay Thai world champion. Yes, he did. He yes. He ain't scared. I'm scared of Yeah. Scared. <laughs> and I'm willing well, look to at, look at that. Risk. Look at that beard. Does it look scared? It looks nappy. Matt, <laughs> you've labeled her as crazy lady. <laughs> uh, no, that was my wife did that. <laughs> That's awesome. I went uh, in, I went I in to search it, for her. Oh man, she reached out in October. Hot damn. Yeah, she did. Um, I did not answer. Send them photos to Tucker so so we can get Andrew all horned up and you know he's been on the road. Maybe we can get him down <laughs> to Louisiana. <laughs> man, man, you trolled her pretty damn hard through this thing. <laughs> I didn't even troll her. Like that that's the, the funny part is I like I was just like you got the wrong person right from the get-go it's like god <laughs> and then i kept saying but hey thanks for listening or, or thanks for looking at the page uh while you're at it listen to my podcast i probably and she's shouldn't. like i know everything uh danny aaron oh here we go i got yeah i probably here. shouldn't broadcast this on youtube but well everything broadcast if you look at my ex-wife i should be like the crazy ones <laughs> oh shit uh, uh i don't know Andrew, one, Andrew, Andrew, put your boner away know. well hold on i'm going to i'm gonna send a send a picture she sent to my personal oh, okay uh, that's i was wondering those yeah the ones so the, the ass the ass shots yep oh ass i didn't shots. see those you i didn't hear it. Oh, you oh, didn't. Right. Shot. No, she's got a decent ass. Oh. But she's just clinically insane, so it's like right up your alley. Oh, yeah, so, she, she's nuts. So, fuck it. Just lots of opioids and methamphetamines have gone through her system, so. I mean, other oh, than that. She's... Oh, that's, that's small shit, bud. Andrew does that every night. Up, that's man. how it. That's how he hauls cattle. They already said there's only a game warden on here. Uh, all right, I, I just you sent one. Hey, I got, there's literally I'm zero people. There's zero people watching this podcast right now. Zero oh, yep, people. There watching. she is. Oh yeah, Andrew. Well, she's not bad though from the backside, I guess. <laughs> Just put a face down and it'll be all right. Hey, Blythe. You want to say hi to your dad again? No. No. She's a deuce bag, huh? She said no. She said fuck you. <laughs> I'm burning your iPad. But you know what happened? Megan did their makeup. Did they actually? Her... Actually, they split it. They all did half of a face, each one. I figured after like the pizza deal was over, they were like, "No, we're not doing all that." No, they did. Even with Mom and Hillary here. Oh, they came over. Yeah, they drove the her car over here, and of then course. they went to leave. And it started huh? when they went to leave. They went to leave my house. They drove her, my mom's car, you know. 
Yeah. Our mom. And they got here and they left. And like fucking 30 minutes later, they walked back in the door. So I'm like, what the fuck have you guys been doing? Like, our car died. It's like, you walked back here? Like, oh, we never left. It died in your driveway. We didn't want to come get you, so we figured we could start it ourselves. So they just sat out there with it until the batteries were dead. Uh, so that's all that was wrong with it, the batteries? I don't know. I didn't start it. I just took them home. <laughs> it's fucking windy out there. It's cold. It may or may not be. Yeah, they don't even know if it has gas in it. So I was like, oh, I'll take you home then. Yes, it's cheap right now. No shit. I know. I kind of want to buy a fucking tank and put it out in my yard and fill that fucker. You guys ever wanted to put premium through your engine? Right now is the time. Never wanted to do that. Well, hell yeah. The gas station closest to my house has premium for cheaper than unleaded. All the no time. shit. Yeah, really? I don't know why it's- That's insane. in that case, I may do that. Well, it's good for your engine to put one through, you know, once a, every three months or so. Yeah, I use it whenever I go in there. It's yeah. not. Well, uh, uh, Tuck, did you get the picture? Yeah, I did. Andrew liked it. Yeah. She like was, There we go. I don't got her phone number. I mean, her UFC boyfriend yeah. will literally murder you. But other than that, you're good. Oh, I saw this picture. Yeah, I, I like I said, she she's got a she's got a banging body, but you know she does have some scars from like the mess and the picking and the. But I mean that that stuff you can get past, I'm sure. Oh, Face yeah. down, that doesn't hurt Andrew none. Face down, ass up. That's like a 1990s rap song, I think. It's weird. I think <laughs> so. Job, Andrew. I, yeah. 94, um, if I'm not, I'm not mistake, <laughs> mistaken. No, I believe that was, that was uh, Warren G. It's Regulators! The... Mount up. <laughs> Mount up! It was a clear white moon with a clear black night. Warren G was on the streets trying to consume. Sorry. Just fucking stop. Apology I'm back. I'm back. Oof. I about, went nah, ghetto. I I about, I went, I about went ghetto on you so fast. It was like so quick. Oh, okay. God. This is even uh, uh, Rob, Robbie is he, he's just working on getting hard. Oh, yeah. just, oh, yikes. He's fluffing. The face, though. Ooh, face. Andrew likes that. Of course he does. He's, he's a star for Jesus. Jesus. Want, does Robbie want wingy? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, Andrew, no. I thought you'd be, for for a mess head, I thought you'd be a lot skinnier. I really did. <laughs> you know, <laughs> drink your beer, bitch. <laughs> you know, not all of us do a shit ton of drugs. Okay, okay. Not most of us, yeah, not all of us. You're correct. I like to find a so shit cool. ton. Yeah, I feel like I need to step define a shit ton because I feel like I need to step my game up. <laughs> That's the well, case. Last week, Andrew slept for four hours. So, where are you at? <laughs> yeah, he's got me beat. Um, I got some Copenhagen, I got got the coronavirus, and um, you know, and a little it's calving bit of vitamins. <laughs> mm-hmm. A little bit of vitamins, but that's usually, I mean, that's. Kind of opposite what them truckers want because they uh, and and Andrew's sitting in Florida going a load out of California. I'll be there tonight. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're really good at that, Robbie. I've never <laughs> done methamphetamine. <laughs> you twist a lot of pizzles. Uh, I already yeah. I already used that methamphetamine song too, so I, I know. Find Bummer. One. That's a good. Uh, that is that's there probably any, uh, my favorite old crow song. Is the methamphetamine, methamphetamine song? Methamphetamine. I don't know. That's her newest album, isn't it? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's her newest album. Sam should know. He's in the industry. Uh, I need to. I need to text Corb and see when. Uh, because he's supposed to play on the fourth, but the 
I bet he's real free right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I was gonna say, I, I actually, I, I tweeted uh, to Todd McComas today. Hey, you busy now, to, bud? I, I was listening to his one of his new podcasts that he does with his comedian buddies, and he's like, "Yeah, somebody won me on the other day," and he's like, "And they really fucked up because uh, I'm a full time stand up comedian right now that can't go anywhere, so I'm really fucking bored." And like three hours in, they were dropping like flies, <laughs> and so I was like, "Hey." <laughs> I said, yo, at Todd McComas, uh, you've got an open invite to, to come join us at any time. Feel free to stick <laughs> around for as long as you want. <laughs> oh, you, you, you added him on Twitter? Mm-hmm. I've followed him on Twitter for a while. <clears throat> yeah, but you added him. Yeah, yeah, I, I mm. yeah, directly added him. So. At. Uh, no, L, at, like, yeah. at him yeah like yeah all up in the mentions yeah oh is this how you oh is this is this that no are we we cutting the bulls or what are we doing i don't i think he i I think i think tucker's got the rocker the stopper and the showstopper behind him so so uh, is it a two finger oh what that oh fuck Sheep. This is riveting audio content, but the, the video is pretty goddamn hilarious. <laughs> For those and who you are guys can listening. see that at Move Your Ass on YouTube. Yep, Burning Daylight YouTube page. If you are at home and have a an unplanned amount of time on your hands and zero life, <laughs> yeah, literally no life. No Aren't you life. nothing to do? Single. A craft. <laughs> burning daylight. And if your shit has gotten so long, you are out of content. I just got a notification from Google that says, help stop the uh, coronavirus. Do the five. Uh, yeah, it's on their page too. Do the five. What, what are the five? What, what are we supposed to do? Okay. Do uh, the five. I didn't click. Help stop the coronavirus. Hands. Wash them often. Elbow, cough into it. Face, <laughs> don't touch it. Don't touch it. Yeah, uh, uh-huh. I was thinking Feet. about that today. How are you supposed to put a chew uh-huh. in? <laughs> I mean, that's uh, a, that's a valid point. Valid like, point. I actually, really like I, damn it. I kind of hate uh, that I fucking said that because I was actually. Right, wait. On, I was going to make you guys a video of me like fucking apple. Like apple okay. biting a chew. So. And I, I, got one I totally fucked it up, just Tony now, because I wanted to do it. You still can. Okay, so like, oh, I eat a taco I promise without I'll touching your face. Eat a eat a taco without touching your face. Can't do it. Who's taco? Yeah, I matter. eat my wife's taco all the time. I don't use like hands. Kobayashi. <laughs> 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 Uh, all right, so feet stay more than three feet apart. Feel sick, stay home. I feel sick every day. Cold and you know, over. you know the the marketing guy in charge of that one at Google got a promotion. <laughs> oh, Great God. job! Yeah. Great job on the five, man. Great job. Yeah. <laughs> Do the five. Do the five. <laughs> you remember was, the coronavirus? And the five? Yeah, that was this guy. The thing? Five. You know the thing? With the, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so there's this fella out of Kansas that's been in listening for a long time. His name's uh, Nick Loot. And uh, I shared one of his posts. God, what a loser. Uh, he said, on the bright side, China can't make anything that lasts more than a few months. So we're, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Yeah, he, of- he posted on his uh, his personal page, and uh, and like he he messaged me uh, uh you know every so often, uh, but I, I thought that was pretty funny. And uh, considering that I've been shadow banned pretty hard, like the page hasn't, but just like the posts that I put personally have got no traffic on Facebook, but they do well on Instagram. It's weird. 
Uh, but well, Matt, you're not that funny, so sorry. I don't tell you, like, you're just not as funny as the rest of us. I guess not. So but even that. even so, that one uh, that one did pretty good. So good good on Nick. Good job. Yeah, Nick. that that was funny. Good job, Nick. Yeah, yes. uh, it was, the memes. It was, it was it was thoughtful and very tasteful. Hmm. Yeah, and funny all at the same time. Yeah, good for him. Yeah. Good on you, Nick. Good uh, on you, Nick. The memes, the memes that have come out of this thing have been glorious. Like that's glorious. been the the whole page here for How? almost so, two yeah, weeks. Okay, probably. so that's, took, that's, this yeah. is gonna be the next thing that pisses Shiloh off. Too many. I know you know, that's awesome. Memes. The one thing uh, that, like that that I can like attest to is you know if you want to kill a meme, let the boomers have it, right? Yeah, and they'll bleed it dry over time. In one week, they have ruined toilet paper memes. One week. Uh, yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, they they really have. Can we um, take a moment to have a collective fuck you, Shiloh? Oh, I thought we were gonna Shiloh. do a moment of toilet paper memes. Oh, well, that too. But uh, oh, okay. we'll just it's it's a it's a combined. You know, we'll just you know. hey while we're on the fuck you, Shiloh. Can we all take a moment to appreciate him falling into his table and breaking every single leg off of it? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Shiloh. Still, Thank you for breaking still, your table. No, he still says I pushed him, but there's no fucking evidence of that. All I know no, is he's got a table with no uh, legs on it. Allegedly. And he allegedly. Fell well, Tucker was there, but I don't know if Tucker remembers either. I remember the table falling over. And Shiloh being on the ground. Me too. I'd never, I never. Yep. I was looking at him, but I do not remember seeing him fall. I don't think I pushed him. I can't. I mean, I might have. I, I don't remember so, it. I'm not uh, so basically, what we're saying is Shiloh's a piece of shit, and he lies. Oh, yes. he's a bad liar. I, oh yeah, yeah. Fuck Shiloh, Shiloh, I don't even know you, but if Robbie annoys you, you're probably my friend. He's Tucker's <laughs> twin. He's Tucker's twin brother. That's Cameron. Robbie That's some sort of code. No. Bobby pisses everybody off. I kind of try to. It's my thing. No? I don't think anyone can piss Shallow off like I can, though. I oh, well, that's you guys a, got a I, code. I, oh, strong words. <laughs> Is that a challenge? Shallow and I, I used to fight. Yeah. I don't know. Matt's ass. political content really gets under Shallow's skin, and it's hilarious. It is funny. It is. I can't does wait for Shallow to hear this. Out. What it's is that? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in prepper mode now. What are you doing? Oh. We, we're in a bunker. So you know, did you guys actually watch that show, Doomsday Prepper? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Season two, episode one. There's a dude. Not that, I did not watch it that <laughs> religiously. Well, I, the only reason I know it's because the guy was like five miles from my house. He, oh, he was one of the clans <laughs> over back in Montana. <laughs> yeah, one of the clansmen. Just like a no, this is back in Montana, <laughs> and he was just like a big fat dude. It's got two oil tankers buried in the ground near Bozeman, and like. You know, they try to remain pretty anonymous when they're doing the show, but like they show him driving his van down the highway. And I'm like, I know that truck stop, the one he went past. I'm like, that's right next <laughs> to my grandparents' ranch. Okay. And then he goes like past the exit. And I was like, holy shit, he's in Montana. <laughs> and then he goes up this road. And I was like, shit, I know exactly where he's at. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I know awesome. where his guns are. I know where his ammo's at. I know where his old food's at. Right? So he's sitting up there. <laughs> in his little bunker which is two oil t- train oil tanks buried in the ground and like he's given ever given the doomsday prepper show like a tour of his plate you know and uh and then he's like and here i've got my my tv with my vhs tapes and i was like dude we don't want to see this part <laughs> like, we don't want to <laughs> see what the tapes are <laughs> we know sam what sit- are. <laughs> sam's sitting there with his fucking magazine Okay, two miles fucking south. And then a boy's like, uh, well, it's it's this old boy right over there. Where is he at? Uh, he's uh, he's like, uh, you ever seen Debbie Does Dallas? That shit's for 
pussies. <laughs> <laughs> Here I've got my, my TV with my VHS tapes, and I was like, dude, we don't want to see this part. <laughs> yeah. I got them. Uh, tra- I got them. You want to see this? <laughs> I got them Dallas does Debbie tapes, you know. Oh, what I'm boy, like, uh, well, it's, it's this old boy. Right over there, where is he? I'm getting uh, weird. He's uh, he's like, uh, you see, ever yeah. seen Debbie does Dallas? That shit's <laughs> wow. <rude. laughs> I'm getting like what is happening? Two seconds playing. Yeah, right yeah. Why is that happening? I don't like it. I don't. I don't want to hear that. I don't know either. But that was Fucking weird. Math. That Fucking me. Yeah, you're the biggest piece of shit. Muted over here. Just yeah. Well, you should well, mute that, yourself more often. Uh, I will not. This is my show. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, can you? I know you're a wizard. Could you just mute him for like 30 seconds just for laughs? It's Matt's meeting room. I can't do it. Oh, you're a He's wizard. Not allowed. Not allowed. <laughs> oh, Force comes back. Fuck you. How do you guys know how to do all kinds of shit? He shows? may not be a smart man. Did you do what now? How do you guys know how to work all this shit on these computers? I can only see one person at a time. Oh, oh you, you got to switch, switch to gallery view. Yeah, how do you do that? <laughs> it's in the, the top right-hand corner. Let's say God, gallery that had, view. That had to be a shit show earlier when all that shit was going on. Oh, I'm yeah, sure. I wasn't talking. I didn't know who to see. I don't see a gallery view in the top right. Uh, is there any options in the top right? No. Uh, They're not on a Mac, though. No, I'm on an Apple. That what? That's, That's a uh, Yeah, so it'll be it'd be on the top right. What does it look like? I'm not on a Mac. I'm on an Apple. Um. Uh, <laughs> it'll be oh, just Jesus. up but over here i've ever had was like a hundred dollar matt matt no see, god damn it every time you guys screen share i have to Wee. but you wizards you Wee. damn wizards Wee. Wee. <laughs> hey <laughs> texas roy okay boomer <laughs> <laughs> i kind of feel like i'm a boomer <laughs> Fucking oh, you, re- you young, you young I fellers with all your technology. Uh, I feel like we should pour one out for Kate because she was she was gonna come on. She said she had some good conspiracy theories, but she's got uh, the coronavirus. Mm. Oh, we need it. Uh, uh, Kate Bowen of um, I forget what town in Vermont Meadow, she's from. Meadowdale Farm has no. the coronavirus. R.I.P. Kate. Does she actually have the coronavirus? No, or, or, the, or the flu, I guess. Does she have the flu? I, I, she just said she was feeling crappy. Uh, yeah, did she, she have a dry cough? She didn't. She did not expound into anything. Uh, I think they're on lockdown, so we. I don't think she wanted to divulge a whole lot of information. You know, hi NSA, how are you? Hey, uh, FBI guy. Like, if you try to lock me down, I'll shoot you. And, and proudly go to jail. I, I want to know the name of my FBI agent so I can find out if I'm actually. Mine's funny. Tom. Tom. I just want to yeah. text him so I can be like, you know, hey man, like, what did I actually do last night? Like, I got. Yeah, I was like, hey, uh, what did you think about that joke I told at ten twenty four? You laugh. Yeah. Was it? No, was so it? What? What? Mine, what can I do? Like, what word do I need to tweak right there? <laughs> My like, name tell, is Tom, tell. and he's not amused. He says I'm an idiot, and you know, like I feel like my wife and him talk a lot or something because well, you know what? She, she says the same Tom. thing. Weird. They go to you know, Fuck. they Scrabble together, and I don't know. They yeah. both say I'm stupid and not funny. Hey, so it's he's like also, he's also her tennis tennis instructor. It's the weirdest thing. And they go get tea and crumpets, and <laughs> I live in Garden City. I don't. I actually, you know what? I'm not going to blame it on the town. I don't know what crumpets are. Uh, <laughs> I thought I was gonna blame it on the town, but I'm not. That's on me. You know, like crumpets sound awesome. I don't know what they taste like, but they to me that sounds like a really dry biscuit. Do you want a crumpet? All right. Oh, who shared the uh, the Oreo meme the other day? It was like uh, that was funny. It's called 
They called yes. them uh, chocolate sandwich think, biscuits. Oh, that that was me. And yeah, yeah. That <laughs> that, was that was a good one. That yeah. was a good one. And that now I understand. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it makes. I was like. Yep. The English yep. call Oreos chocolate sandwich biscuits. And now I understand why we needed our freedom. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know, you know, it was funny as fuck. I saw something that someone shared today and it was like, uh, fuck, what was it? It was like the easiest way to get through the quarantine. And it was an Oreo split in half. And like the entire Oreo was stacked with fucking, um, uh, 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 bars, um, Z bars, shit, drugs. Um, what poppers huh? <laughs> you call them poppers? Uh, it's a it's a downer it starts with a z i think uh, those fucking uh, bars uh, bars whatever they're called God damn it. well no because those are not in pills form um i've done dmt i don't know you're the drug dealer here bud Okay, why are you gonna bring up old shit? Jesus, Matt. See, that was Scott. Well, I'm just clarifying. I don't know. I didn't sell opioids. I don't know the lingo. <laughs> yeah, cocaine okay, and marijuana. Oh, and ecstasy. Oh, but nothing else. Nothing hard. Ish. So, mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms too. And mushrooms. now we know why Sheena's really mad. <laughs> Hey, ten years ago, ten years ago, I had a drug. I had a drug empire. College was, I, money was tight. You do what you gotta do. Money was tight in college for me too. I didn't go start selling drugs. Well, money was no longer <laughs> tight after I sold drugs. It was only tight for a little bit. I fixed it. You struggled. I was a kingpin. Why'd you stop? Well, because it's illegal. And they, and they, well, actually got tied up with some, oh, uh, Col- some Colombians. Go down to, time. huh? I'm not real for sure, Tuck. I just clicked the link you sent me on Facebook. I don't think that's the issue. No, this page. Uh, Click on the little arrow by stop video and uh, see what the options are there. But it'll say gallery view. All mine has a select camera, FaceTime, high definition camera, or same as system. Okay, so um, click on the the full screen deal on on your top right. Where it's got your... uh, Okay, so then and then it should say uh, gallery view from there. No, it has me the same screen as before, but without the top internet bar. Uh, I don't know, Sam. You got any? any I think Sam's there? got the answer. He just I haven't been paying someone. attention. <laughs> God, I hate Sam been, so much. I've been trying I can't to find him. <laughs> him and his Texas Roy hat. I just, oh, I just want to. I want to squeeze his fucking face. Uh, I, every time you get I'll Texas send, Roy, cowboy. Every time you say <laughs> Texas Roy, cowboys in West Texas get ten cents. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How about you tell your Cali- your your buddy California Roy mm, to stick it with his hat? I'll take one though if he wants to send one to Twenty Ten North Carolina Road Gardens for Kansas. Gallery. I, I get you a Texas Roy hat. Oh, I would totally rock a Texas or a California Roy hat. It's I'd a totally good looking it. hat, right? It's a nice hat. Like I've I, got it's... three, two blue ones, and this one. Ah. Mm. You got a black one? I don't. He only made blue and red. He's a well, KU would... fan. He's not. Fucking... He's a. He's an NDSU fan, man. Uh, but well, dude, I'd take that... a blue one if... if you got one. Dude, that yeah, hat, man. if it was black, would look so fucking sharp. Yeah. Yeah, I'm been trying to get him to make another order. So he'll make like 50 at a time and just give them out. Uh, I don't know why. I, he toys with the idea of starting a hat company, but he just kind of like just gives them out and people love them. Everybody, you know, and so I got they're they're cool hats. Yeah. I'm going fishing with him this weekend. I'll try and talk him into doing another yeah. round. And then get a black and white one. That would look <sighs> fucking clean. Yeah, I like that idea. They're just the the Richardson hat with his custom right. 
you know, Richard Richardson uh, hats are the best way to go. Yeah. yeah, I think I've got about 20 of them. I mean, but what's, you know what's weird about them? About me. What have you done? Somebody fucked up. I did. <laughs> God damn it. Now I don't know how to get to the one I was just on. I figured it out. You be quiet. Uh, I am a good, like, <laughs> I am not old, 13 <laughs> years older than Tucker. And how am I this more technologically literate than him? How old are you? Hey, daggum, we live down here in the fucking uh, sound hills and shit. We don't know too much from here. You don't even want to know my newest problem. You found your penis. Congratulations. Oh, back. Oh, All we right. did it. Hey. Oh, you're frozen on my screen. Yeah. Yeah, well, you've got a blank screen. No, and then uh, the it, one man. with your... Hey. Oh, oh. Gallery view now. I am a... There you go. Actually, you know what? I'm going to screenshot this. There we go. Tucker looks lost. <laughs> I was lost. It took me for fucking ever to figure that out. Well, I'll just go ahead and send that one out. Mm. I'm going to invite a friend to this podcast. He's part of the bull session. He's good shit. Cool. He runs a research uh, ranch in Montana. Nice. I got to reload on beer. I'll be back. Yeah. Yeah. Tucker and uh, Douchebag, you guys talk. Right. I'm going to leave you a forest dump. One, two, two. Well. Fuck all those pussies. I guess it's just me and you now. That's what I'm saying. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> Trash can? Fuck, oh, Kids these days. I know. Some people's kids. I, I keep looking over to the left and seeing that background of mats and going, oh, shit. Who's, who the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, no shit. So I figured out my problem was I didn't – well, I did download the little podcast deal, whatever we're on. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't open the download. I just clicked on the <coughs> online one. So it wouldn't let me do any of the cool options. Yeah. It's better if you do the – you just download the app. <laughs> well, I did download it. So I didn't know how to get off the internet in this yeah. little right. option. So you can see everybody now. Yeah. Well, hell yeah. Yeah, I finally figured it out. Fucking A, Cotton. I guess the <laughs> button Fucking on these- A. <laughs> <laughs> My buddy's literally walking out the door to the calving barn or else he'd join, so never mind. Ah. Uh, that time. Well, you hey, have that on those big outfits. Only- yeah. Hey, Arby. Well, oh, uh, dude, if we're going to talk about the time I hate in the mouth, I don't want to talk about it. That's that's like so long ago. Probably you love talking about hitting Andrew in the mouth. I you know. Also, it was so I funny. Wanna, I want to hear about <laughs> you hitting Forrest Gump. You a fucking fat kid, too. And it wasn't me. <laughs> it was New Year's. It's, you know, champagne. You know, she gets wild. Uh, wrestling turns into punching people in the mouth. It's. It was you body it. boxing, you dumb shit. But nobody was wanting to body box except you, I don't think. Yeah, at all. Well, my wife went to bed early. Like, what else was I going to do tonight? Like, I wasn't fucking, so if you're I not fucking, trying, what are you doing? You're fighting. I was that's trying a, to that's get up. common knowledge. And you kept on kicking me in the fucking chest and quit yeah, being a bitch. That's, I was 15. Well, you were being a bitch, so. I was 15 fucking teen. And you weighed 200 pounds more than I did. So I'm just saying, you were a well, soft well, 15 year old. That, that is two hundo. That's 200 pound 15 year old against the 150 pound 25 year old alcoholic. Oh uh, yeah, actually I was 22. Alcoholic douchebag. Look, man, you saw me knock out the other fat kid. I don't know why you thought that fat kid should jump in. That was a bad move. I was punching Dude, fucking everybody. Off of me. Well, you should have ran faster. 
I just said another one of those synonyms, right? You said alcoholic douchebag, and it's the same as Robbie. So, like, when you say bitch and cunt, it's just, you know, it can mean the same it's thing, but same cunt. thing, different levels. Same, yeah. same, same, but not same. Same, it's same, same, but same, different. same, but not same, same, same. It's, but different. <laughs> I think it's, a it's, it's the same, but it's different. It's, it's different, I just, Holmes. I just watched that the other night again. Oh god, that's such a good oh, fucking show. What is it? Um, the interview. Isn't oh yeah. Called? So uh, same, the- same, but different. But same, same, but different. <laughs> so that's like, in that that's, one. That guy uh, was the guy who played Kim Jong Il in that movie was the same guy that played like oh when, when jim did the prank in the office yes or, yes yeah. right so i, I saw that i think i yes. sent that meme to you guys where it's like who says john krasinski isn't isn't a versatile actor and it showed like six of his different roles yep. and one was <laughs> that guy in the interview <laughs> yeah. that's right uh, uh dude i i watched it like last weekend when i was on call and that's such a good fucking show oh god i laughed so hard Two this he's like you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take it no don't do that that's the absolute stupidest fucking idea don't fucking do that yeah I'm gonna <laughs> do that. <laughs> well forrest said that uh his two worst ass whoopings were from you and that fat girl what fat girl <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, you you got beat up by a hundred fifty pound drunk dumbass and a two hundred pound fat girl. I wouldn't talk about your fighting, <laughs> your fights. Like keep those shelved. Hey, you're the one, Robbie's the one that brought it up. <laughs> I know. I always bring it up with Andrew. It's, this is funny. <laughs> well, apparently you can't say fat chicks aren't real people because they all and they can really fucking hit too. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I was going to agree with you and say, no, they're really not real people, but that's what you said, and you got your ass whipped over it. <laughs> <laughs> what was it, by that a fat like girl? A good science no, experience. he told a fat girl, fat girls aren't real people, and then a fat girl whipped his fucking ass. <laughs> that's, well, like, that's awesome. That is the best thing I've ever twice. heard in my life. <laughs> and like The first time she hit me, she knocked my hat up over the ball. And apparently, when I stood back up, I said that wasn't shit. He says apparently because he don't remember. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> so when I stood back up, I was like, well, that wasn't fucking shit. And then she knocked me over the bowl and I stood up and walked outside. Like, that was a little bit of something. That was something. <laughs> yeah. uh, you, you had a little stank on that one. <laughs> she was a mean old. Uh, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh. It was actually one of my buddy's uh, ex wives. And she. Ex buddy's ex wife. Yeah. And she, well, he left home because she was beating him. And I can fucking see why now. <laughs> Matt, I got another conspiracy theory for you. Oh, let's hear it. <laughs> so the New York Times just posted an article that says Alex Jones is told to stop selling anti coronavirus toothpaste. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, fuck. Uh, bottom, of the, bottom of the barrel. Here we go. Apparently, he's falsely claiming that his products on his podcast can fight the coronavirus. <laughs> That's awesome. Christ. And and his toothpaste is just a is just a dick pic. That's all <laughs> it is. <laughs> well, how do you think he fills those tubes? Uh, you know, my, my favorite fucking Alex Jones quote is. But I'm kind of fucking retarded. I, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> yeah. kind of retarded. <laughs> when I was I was listening to that podcast that day, and when I I, heard uh, that, I fucking died. I I'm not gonna lie, I got baked out of my gourd to to listen to that one. And it was so it was. Enter so my gourd. 
<laughs> oh God! Why? <laughs> Matt, you have problems. I'm embarrassed, honestly. <laughs> Matt does some cool shit, and I couldn't even see all four or all three of you. <laughs> no, this is new for Matt. I... <laughs> He's got Harold. <laughs> I had the pain, Harold. <laughs> this is very new for Matt Tucker. He normally does not. I don't know where this is coming from. So. If you guys been- haven't already, and I know if you're if you're being quarantined, you're gonna have some time on your hands. You need to look up a YouTube channel called The Internet Historian. Oh, and he uses Go like on. he uses this picture in all of his videos, and he basically just like in a very humorous way like goes over all of the things that <laughs> happened on the internet. Yeah, yeah, that's Harold. That's how he <laughs> Harold. Uh, and he so like he goes over like uh, how. Remember when Justin Bieber put that poll out, like, where's the next place he should play? And Reddit got together and was like, North Korea. And they all voted. And then the tour was canceled. I didn't know that, but that's <laughs> fucking amazing. Yeah. That he goes awesome. over stuff like that. Like, like how the internet has trolled people. And, uh, <laughs> oh, like that, uh, name the boat deal. That was fucking yeah. funny. Bodie McBoatface. Yeah. Yes. Yep. yes. Yeah. yes. That, that was one of them. So he's got just like a slew of these videos that uh, some of them are pretty pretty i don't know they're not all for everybody but some of them are hilarious like the one where um where where uh i think it was 4chan faked kanye west's death for like three days yeah yeah that was an epidemic oh so the the okay game Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah, that that was started on yeah the the white power symbol (laughs) sam's bread and butter (laughs) Um, was started on. <laughs> uh, what is it? We're in about two hours now. I just have to make one more disclaimer. I am not a racist, okay. and we're good. I think, but I think he is the now. Grand Dragon Wizard. So, <laughs> but then we got Methy McGee over here. <laughs> oh fuck! He's waiting on his next pa- next patch to get done. Actually, but, yeah. In the back so room? Th- this whole deal, you know, the game that. We played for decades at this point. Right. Uh, 4chan started the rumor just to troll the media that this stood for the W and the P. And it works. It works. <laughs> it still fucking works. It still yeah. works. So funny. Oh, it's, it's insane. so good. And, and so there's like a, a picture of a class of like... Uh, the United States Naval College cadets or, or seamen or whatever they, they call them. <laughs> seamen. Mer, mermaids, whatever. Uh, the, the Naval cadets. And, and there's you, one you know all about that, that. Oh, I know about the seamen. Yes, seamen. <laughs> so this. Yeah, there's, there's one, one cadet and there's like. Oh, and then they go dig through his tweets and they find something from when he was 12 uh, where he said, I think black people can jump higher. And they're like, it's a racist conspiracy. <laughs> and no, it, it started by a bunch of fat neck beard trolls on 4chan. They're like, you know, it'd be funny. And they're right. They were right. They were, and it's it still hilarious. fucking funny yeah. <laughs> the, one of my favorite ones is when they uh try they <clears throat> created a bunch of fake web pages <laughs> fake articles and then they basically the way they got this to happen it is it's, the 2016 election well they go on to google <laughs> like because fortune is huge and there's a huge yeah. network of people and they basically get this thread going they say all right everybody in this thread needs to go to google and google this term as much as you can so that when other people, just normal people, you and I go to Google Justin Bieber's name, it comes up as Justin Bieber has cancer, right? So they'll go Google <laughs> Justin Bieber has cancer. They'll just type it in a thousand times. And then when we will go look it up and be like, Justin Bieber has cancer. And then people will actually Google that. And the fake web pages that have been optimized for that will pull up. So they, they actually made the world believe for like a week that Justin Bieber had cancer and they started a hashtag bald for Bieber campaign. And oh yeah, that's what I remember that. Shaving oh, their yeah. heads and there was little, videos. 
There was like 12 year old fucking girls yeah. with like long fucking hair shaving yeah. their fucking head. Yeah. I remember Bald that. Fever. And this, oh, yes, uh, this like, internet they story goes they through like, it all. They wrecked little That's girls' awesome. lives over that fucking deal because they shaved their fucking head. I mean, they went full Britney. It, it, and, and they didn't even believe, like, when the media was like, no, he doesn't have, like, he doesn't, they were like, no, we're still going to shave it off. <laughs> <laughs> That's you guys need awesome. to watch this internet historian. He is hilarious. I'm pretty uh, sure me and uh, this part of the screen down over here have are the only ones that have no idea what 4chan is. Don't go there. It's a dark place. The light never touches it. Oh, that sounds oh, awesome. I've, I've never I'm been gonna, there. Uh, I'm going to Google 4chan after this. I'm going to do it right now. How do you spell that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the number four and then chan.org dot org. and uh yeah it's a it's a place that uh you can find exactly what you're looking for no matter what that is porn <laughs> but if you don't know how to navigate it you're not gonna find shit that's the thing like if you know what you're well you looking go to for or like go to uh b is the is the like sub channel of it that where everybody where all these schemes get hatched uh, so it sounds fun it's yeah i used to it's I used to frequent hole. it in high school but high school then. adult cartoon yeah. like back in like 2005 we're like the same oh, age why I, did i know i would this? suggest you not click on the the adult cartoon I'm, I'm i definitely on it. i, I definitely <laughs> <did>. <laughs> congratulations <laughs> you just won your own fbi agent the- like uh, that's the I, first I'm just, thing I clicked. I'm just gonna guess that uh, Bugs Bunny is blasting Hide the Pain Herald in the bee hole in adult cartoon. Oh, okay, wait, that. time out. What's this address again? Looks <laughs> 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 <What the> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like much of a cartoon. This oh, is disappointing. It's a real woman. <laughs> there's two. There's two rabbits. Fucking god damn it! This isn't a cartoon. This is just child porn. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> that's how you know we've gotten so fuck. We've gotten so fucked. We're like, well, that's just like regular sex. That's, that's fucking boring. What is this? Stupid. <laughs> he better use his yeah. thumb, or I'm shutting this off so fast. A well placed thumb can do a lot of things. Uh, if you see the word CP on there anywhere, do not well, click. That is what's going to get us kicked off of YouTube, Andrew. Yeah. Oh. That, that is despicable. Yeah, and, uh, Hate speech. You, oh, that's you, you need, <laughs> and, and you need to stay six feet away from me anyway. Seriously. That, I mean, all up is a well placed thumb. Yeah. In a Amen. woman, but you didn't specify. That's where you, you, fu- you did not specify. specify, and I did not like that wink at all. Like, no, did not. Swear to God, you send me one more emoticon deal, like we're done here. Like, if you send twelve or thirteen more dick pics, like we seriously have a problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one dozen more, and this is off. Awesome. <laughs> uh, so Pat McAfee. <laughs> Has talked about uh, starting a basketball league. I would totally join a basketball league. I'm in. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I'd murder. Uh, one of the want... most underrated movies of all time, basketball. Is it though? That that is. Don't think it's underrated what? though. I don't think it's, it's underrated still... at all. It, I think no, it's, it's, it's a still, cult classic. It's still relevant. Yeah. It's on Netflix. Okay, like, but yeah, but if hello, you ask the you normal got called person, out. boom. No, like if you. Ask the, just a normal person, what's your thoughts on basketball? They'd be like, what? Mm. And then they'll watch it and be like, eh, I don't know. I don't really like it. So I, I don't know if I agree but, with that. I don't know. I don't Andrew, know. Andrew. Hey, Forrest Gump, you like basketball? I don't know what it is. You piece of shit. <sighs> See? I'm a piece of shit. So he's a, a he's a, like a late millennial. Like they don't count. Yeah, but I've seen it. Oh. Okay, Tucker, what do you think of basketball? Thank you. Okay. I haven't watched Shut a up. 
movies. Uh, so I'm a piece of shit. Yeah, you are a piece of shit. Yeah, fuck you. You're There's a, a lot more Andrews out there than there are Tuckers. That's well, all I'm no. Saying. Here's the deal, though. Andrew, like, <laughs> so when baseball came out, Andrew, his parents abandoned him. So like, he doesn't even count. Oh, don't really. fuck that shit up. What? Andrew, it's factual. Hey, okay. we are a self-help program here. Yes, his parents left him when that was popular. Like, how is he going to afford cable? He was trying to make a house payment. <laughs> you and Robbie, between you, Robbie, and me, Cameron has been scarred for life. <laughs> we are not self-help. That's well, I mean, why do you get you know, your bullshit? He probably brought it on himself. That's that, that, all that, that is true. Everything I, think he, I think he's bringing up all the swirlies and, like, wedgies. I think that's well, what Tucker's I mean, referring to. That's just tough him. love or something. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> but it was definitely <laughs> was dumb. Deserved, well deserved. At he least. No, I think. So I think he was annoying you. That's actually what those came from. He annoyed you a lot. Yeah, like I said, he was he was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I did hang him by his underwear. I was gonna say. I think that was the first <laughs> time I seen I seen a guy hanging from his underwear. <laughs> suspended in the air well it's not my fault that he used uh or he was wearing a pair of boxers that were about three sizes too big and <laughs> it's also not my fault that there was a weight bench down in the basement <laughs> that he happened to fit on perfectly so, <laughs> yeah i with, I hung with his hair <laughs> with his hair swirled up from the last two fucking swirlies he got I also had warned him three times to leave me the fuck alone or I was going to give him a swirly, like while holding his head yeah, like he a did. half inch above the water. And I said, down there talking, next time oh. you're going in. And <laughs> he still kept fucking with me. So, hey, do you see this? Do you, next time it's you. Yeah, so then I, I flushed his head in the toilet. Yeah. That may have been and you know what? the first he time He came back for more, swirly. and I was like, where do I go from here? Like, I've already swirled him, like, actually swirled him. I didn't just give him a little boop. No, like, I dunked his head to his chin and flushed it. Where do you go from there? Like, there may, apparently a not- mega wedgie. <laughs> and, you kill him? Well, and that's, way, that still did not work. No, he can't I, fight. But also, at this point, he's 18, and we're pretty sure he's slightly autistic. It's not. It's, it's slightly. Not... <laughs> <laughs> I hope anyone watches this shit. We just hope he can get out of the house. <laughs> uh, last time I was down, I mean, I I did. It's help undiagnosed. Him tie his shoes. I helped him tie his shoes, you know, because I'm a good person. <laughs> Cameron really is <laughs> like what? Well, hey, who's autistic here? He wears boots. So which one of you motherfuckers are retarded? <laughs> well, we've got our own thing going. You, see, you just don't worry about it. <laughs> well, gentlemen, I, hey, it's two hours. Here's, I'm here. Sam Shady dip. I'm gonna dip. Yeah, I can't do it. Two hours. All right, man. my limit. So you've had a lot of uh, clans meeting lately because you've been dipping early. So I mean, I'm just, that's a, I'm gonna assume that's kind of where you're going. Nah, man. Wake up and load. Nah, bruh. Hmm. All right, man. Well, Sam. Very where vague. Can everybody find you. Well, uh, yeah. Actually, I, I did want to plug something. Um, in the next couple weeks, here I'm gonna be releasing a new single. Uh, so look on uh, the McHugh's page for that. And actually anyone who shares our page or likes it or whatever interacts with it, I'm going to personally send you a copy of the single. I, so uh, follow us. Oh, now. fuck. I've never promoted every, anything of yours. Yeah. But now, where's that? Sam McHugh. But uh, new single coming out. It's called I Don't Care. Matt gave me the thumbs up on it. It was a well-placed thumb. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I yeah. gave you a thumbs up. Hey, uh, Sam, I, I got to ask your opinion on this before you head out. Yeah. Um, can I now put songwriter in my resume? 
Uh, you can put, you re- literally wrote one word of the song. I, a- and I actually just swapped out, but still, like he's giving me a songwriting credit. So yeah, I'm well, going to put songwriter in my resume. I didn't say I give you a credit. I said I give you a shout out when I got my Grammy. It, it all oh. reads the same. <laughs> it all reads the same. I'm all about the pat on the back, but not really the like monetary, you know. No, I don't even want the monetary part. I just want to be able to put songwriter in, in my resume. You know what? Go ahead and put it. And I'll, and when we go do the Elko gathering, uh, you can get up and sing it with me. Oh, Hell no. Yeah. Nobody wants Fuck to hear yes. that. He, he's, yeah. he, he thinks he can sing? Oh, can who wants sing. to hear Matt yeah. sing? Fuck you, Robbie. <laughs> no i do but like not with you because i don't want to I, I don't want to ruin what you have going on you know what i'm saying i'm looking out for you i know well, i don't do that often but like every once in a while well thank you thanks for looking out for me robbie that's one thing i'll take serious is your, is your music career thanks. and i don't i don't want to ruin it okay so, from his career man. yes i want yeah. matt to sing with you at elko thanks now you're doing uh, it man. <laughs> Sam, I uh, I think that's gonna be a real deal. Like, I, we gotta find a venue, but I think the the Elko uh, live podcast and and concert, I think I think we can swing that. Hey, we get Welcome. a venue. We get a venue. We get the right. We get the right situation. I'll bring a band. So fuck yeah, man. Uh, is it called? Jake? Is it called Hitler's Youth? <laughs> 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 i'm not i'm not laughing at your joke robbie i'm laughing at that fucking giggle that came out of forest <laughs> robbie, is it called hitler's youth <laughs> it's like fucking beavis in the room <laughs> that's awesome uh, uh, you know what though by the way know. not a bad if, if you had a punk band not a bad name <laughs> that would be a terrible name. <laughs> well yeah obviously but for a punk band not a bad name but like the real punk oh yeah 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 like uh, uh what was that movie it was in salt lake city uh oh yeah slc punk yes mm-hmm. great oh, I, was thinking... I thought you were talking about green room I say I was I was thinking somebody real hardcore like uh, some forty one. Ew! I got all the nineties. <laughs> pretty pretty hardcore there, McKinley. Still, uh, great band. Uh, if uh, if anybody that was born after or like between eighty five and ninety five is still listening. They're laughing their ass off. And yeah. You know, yeah. I'm Is in it, for the long con. Nobody's listening. <laughs> Nobody gives a <laughs> Yeah. yeah. No. I don't know why you made it that, like, varied, because you could have just never – if anybody's listening. <laughs> well, I, there – I think there was, like, three people listening at one point. So I'm mm-hmm. saying if they make it this far, they'll really enjoy that joke. But just <laughs> troopers, I, Matt, you're also fading into Harold's beard right now. <laughs> it's very. Weird. I know it's awesome, ain't it? <laughs> Not really. You're becoming <laughs> you're, one. Like of, you're kind of right up his nose. Hide the pain, Harold. <laughs> he just wants to be in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, gentlemen, uh, check I'm out confused on Facebook and YouTube, but I gotta go. All right, Sam. Hey, thanks for joining us. Take care, gents. Keep the conspiracy. Yep. Peace. Tell your wife That's I said it. hi. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that freaking guy! He is way too Sam. talented to be hanging out with us. It's annoying, actually. It's really annoying. Yeah. How does he? How does he know so much? What is he a wizard? Did he... I know, and then uh, then he just like sends us a song. He's like, "Oh, I whipped this up the other day," and it's like full Nashville production value. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's pretty good, Sam. 
it's it's yeah. pretty good. That's why you it's the I'm the one that set the thumbs up because you guys were fucking padding him up and I was like all right. <laughs> yeah. No, because it, dude, it, it, it's like it's you could play it on the radio. Yeah, seriously. And, I mean, it uh, it play. What do you? Well, and, and he, he says like, "What do you guys think?" Well, it yeah. sounds like uh, it was on the radio yesterday. I think. Yeah, exactly. I I did. Uh, and the the one the one line I got or one word I got into that song. It was really nitpicky because I was like, and I even told him, I said, "Hey, you could re- you could release it right now and it'd be fine." Uh, I was like, "If you change it to this term or this phrase instead of what you have, I said it'll sound like it's a little grittier." And that's it. But I was like, "Just," I said, "Record it and see what you think." Uh, but like it was that, like that ticky tack about any criticism I had about it. It was like, it's basically perfect already. And he's like, oh, I just whipped this up over the weekend. Yeah, what'd you guys do this weekend? I just, you know. Yeah, well, and it's like, well, that, that fucking loser's just writing songs over there. Yeah, I wish I could have looped it. Just Where is that fucking song at? On YouTube, probably. Uh, oh, no, he hasn't released it yet. Oh, here it is. Been working on a new song. What do you guys think? I'm sure you guys can't hear that, though. All right. Um, No, but here, let me... I think I can play it here. But should we? Uh, Probably doesn't yeah. want it. Yeah, I'll I'll just I'll wait. I'll 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 feature it on a on a episode next week or whenever he releases it. But anyhow, it's pretty awesome. But uh I think we're gonna keep bullshitting here for a minute, but all you folks out there in internet line, uh that's it for us. So move your ass, we're burning daylight. Guys can go fuck yourself.